at 8 to 8 Family Pizzeria and I am talking to Dominic Lane. He is a co-owner. Um, thank you for taking time to talk to me today. Yeah, absolutely. How long this business has been in Asheville for? So we've had a family restaurant in Asheville now since 1994. Wow. So we're coming up on our 25th anniversary. I did not realize that. Yes, yes. Great. Yes. And you have two locations, right? We have two locations. We have one on South Asheville at uh, 1854 Hendersonville Road. Mm -hmm. And then we're up by the Fresh Market uh, on Merriman mm -hmm. Avenue before you get to the Tell everyone a little bit about your um, business. What you do, what you offer, what kind of food. I mean, I know it's kind of self-explanatory, but just kind of. Yeah, no. we are, uh, we're a very traditional pizzeria. Uh, we have branched out over the years, though. Uh, we're trying to appease the Asheville crowd a little bit more, but it's mostly just salads and small appetizers. Mm -hmm. We specialize in our pizzas. We try to make them a little differently than anybody else does. Mm -hmm. And then we have some pasta dishes that go along with it. And what makes your pizzas different? Uh, we get a lot of imported cheeses and we make everything. We make absolutely as much as we can hands-on in our pizzerias. So we're so using just homemade. A, homemade, yes. Yes, Yum. we're making scratch dough every day. Um, uh, the imported cheeses, we crush our own tomatoes mm -hmm. for our tomato sauce. We really try to go out of our way to really make it a, a homemade. Do you have uh, such thing as typical client? Who is your typical yes, client? Yes, actually, we rely heavily on the Asheville community. Okay. Uh, the majority of our business is based off of regular customers mm -hmm. that we've grown, uh, we've actually grown relationships with over the years. Um, I know a lot of restaurants in town rely on uh, kind of tourist heavy mm -hmm. uh, people that come in to see the mountains and see the area, mm -hmm. which which is always which is always great for all the businesses in town. Mm -hmm. But really, uh, we've been so blessed to, to really form a bond with the Asheville community. So a lot of regulars, a that lot of just regular come here. customers, mm -hmm. right, right. Great. We kind of see ourselves more as a destination for yeah. local family. What do you like most about what you do here? What do I like most about what I do? I personally, I like running a kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, I like to work elbow to elbow with uh, all of my employees. So be just more hands-on kind of guy? Yeah, yeah, and, and really to do a restaurant right, you have to be very hands-on. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and really working hard. Uh, I think one of the things that me and my family are really good at is just being consistently hard-working right. um, restaurateurs. And that shows in success. Of, Absolutely, of yes, the yes, that's why we've been able to maintain for so many years. Mm -hmm. And keep all the clients who are regulars now. Part we try of the, to keep everybody happy, yeah, that's for sure. Part yeah. of the family. Absolutely. Anything you like least? With working this hard, you have to sacrifice a lot. Mm -hmm. So we have all had to make huge sacrifices with our personal lives right, right. and our families. Um, besides that, it's it's really just general wear and tear. Mm -hmm. that a lot of businesses rely on people who are coming to, to tourists. Why do you think Asheville attracts so many people from all over the country? It is not a typical city in America, right? It's a small melting pot uh, of the Southeast, really. Uh, right. We have so many varieties of people here now, mm -hmm. and there are so many different things to do. Um, this question is going to be hard for you because you've been in business for almost 25 years. Yeah. But still, if you could imagine, if you couldn't do what you're doing right now, what would be your second alternative? The hardest part about that question is not working for myself. Okay, that part. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you're in business and everything relies on you, mm -hmm. a lot of people think about the boss or owning something as you don't have to do a lot mm -hmm. or perhaps you don't have a lot of commitment and you push things off on other people. I think that you actually grow accustomed so heavily to everything coming down to you. Mm -hmm. um, so if I wasn't doing this, first thing that pops into mind is opening up other small businesses, <laughs> which would put me in the same role right. that I'm in now having that challenge right. all over again in just a new aspect. Now back to Asheville. Mm -hmm. If you could describe Asheville in one word, what would that be? Asheville in one word, diverse. Diverse? Yes. That sounds about right. Yes. I agree. Yes, absolutely. I mentioned in the beginning that you are the co-owner. Right. So who else is involved in this uh, restaurant? So um, my mother, Christine, she is at the, at, red, at the very top. CEO. Um, right. And then uh, me and my brother work for her. We co-own with her, my brother Brian. And then it's really a family after that. My sister works very closely with mm -hmm. us. Um, I have Brian's brother-in-law works for us. His wife works for us. Mm -hmm. The majority of employees that we have have at least one other family member that works with us. Um, 
we have married couples that work for us. So really, everybody that we're working with is part of our family. Right. That's why when we had to unfortunately switch our name this past year um, from Marco's Pizzeria to uh, the 828 Family Pizzeria, that's really where the name comes from. The 828 obviously is the area code and, and that's really the local community that has been so good to us. It was, it, it, when, when people first started hearing about the name change, um, it was a little bit of an uproar, but it was a no-brainer for us to incorporate the community into right. our new name. And then the family pizzeria is just because that's what we that's are. That's what you are. So uh, for majority of the years, this place was called Marcus Pizzeria. Right. And they had to change to A to A family pizzeria, pizzeria because uh, another brand came there was into an, town. There, right, there was an out of town. Um, they're actually from uh, Ohio. Uh, Marco's Pizza. It's a chain, and they uh, they have some new locations coming into the area. And there was a disagreement on um, just some some name infringement and and some you know. We kind of felt the same way. We didn't want to be confused with them, right. and they did not want to be confused with us. Unfortunately, due to legalities, we were the ones who had to change our name. But, um, you know, 2018, we just went ahead and pulled the trigger, opened up under the new name, mm -hmm. and we're really pushing towards uh, just a really good uh, reju rejuvenation of everything that we've been known to do. Mm -hmm. All right, so do not confuse. It's um, do not go to Marcus Pizza. Go to Eight to Eight Family Pizzeria. That's right. This is the place you want to go. This is a local family-owned restaurant that um, supports lo uh, local community. Uh, only uses best ingredients, uh, handmade. Uh, best place hands down. So do not confuse two locations. One in um, next to Earth Fair in, in South Asheville and the second one is next to Fresh Market in uh, North Asheville. Thank you so much for yeah. taking time to talk to me and I'm gonna go ahead and get some pizza. See you later! Thank you.